Pittsburgh. It's a special night here at ABC6. Our sports director emeritus, Ken Bell, is set to become a Hall of Famer. The Rhode Island Radio and Television Hall of Fame inducting Ken at a banquet that's underway right now. Ken is a Hall of Fame broadcaster and person. It's been impossible to replace Ken after he retired, but the man who's certainly done his best to, Nick Coit, honoring our friend and yours, Ken Bell. It's been wonderful covering the, the sports in this area. It was 2017 when our legendary sports director here at ABC6, Ken Bell, signed off the air from full-time duty. Thank you and good luck. You'll be watching. How appropriate, like most athletes, that after more than five years, he'd be eligible for immortality. Good evening, I'm Ken Bell. Tonight, Ken Bell is earning yet another honor for his wonderful career. He's being inducted into the Rhode Island Radio and Television Hall of Fame as part of the class of 2022. Being forced to watch tonight's Celts-Nets game was close to cruel and unusual punishment. It's well-deserved for a career in broadcasting that spanned half a century, starting in 1969 at a radio station in his native Colorado. The names really is... Uh, what was that? <laughs> it's your bionic bow tie. My bionic bow tie. We first met Ken in Rhode Island in 1977 when he worked across town at WJAR. And after a brief detour in Milwaukee, Ken landed back at the place he'd call home for 35 years, Channel 6, in 1982. Hey, Mamma Mia, it's the new <laughs> Tola Center. Over the years, Ken followed some of the biggest stories, moments, and names you can think of in sports. Hey, New York! This is the World Series. I mean, in New England, this is big. This is really big. But his greatness always lied in his local sports coverage, following the PC Friars, Rhodey Rams, Brown Bears, Bryant Bulldogs, and all the high schools in the area. Here's a guy that demands great discipline, and you guys come out and take it. A New England Emmy winner and Silver Circle honoree, Ken became a survivor in sportscasting, picking up a camera and doing it all himself in the later years Ken adapted. Ken Bell, ABC6. And the four-time NSMA Rhode Island Sportscaster of the Year always carried himself with the same grace and passion every day on the job. When you do treat people with respect, they seem to respect you. So congratulations to our friend Ken Bell, a Rhode Island icon who tonight takes his rightful place in the Hall of Fame. That was really well done by Nick, first of all, but what a gentleman Ken Bell is. I had the privilege of interning with him. He helped me get my first job. Uh, I worked with him as a colleague, had the, the honor of putting together the, the story when he retired. A class act through and through. There is no better man than Ken Bell, and it's an honor to sit in this seat because Ken Bell sat in this seat. Really Absolutely. A true Hall of Famer, as you said, Ian, and your lead in as a person and as a broadcaster. The nice, and everyone who's out there who has even been covered by Ken Bell, the uh, support has been raining in through social media, and he still checks, he still watches. Oh, he's watching, he's, we're, right. doing, we're doing a great job, but anyone who has had the pleasure to meet Ken Bell, you know what we're talking about. Just the genuine charm that he has. It shines through the camera, and it always happens. Happy for him tonight. Yes, definitely. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you back here at 11 o'clock.